Not too long ago, Google announced some big changes to its algorithm. Hi, my name is Marie from Four and Half, and I'm here to tell you about those changes and what they mean for property management marketing. It's no surprise that Google updates its algorithm from time to time. In fact, they update the algorithm multiple times a year. They do this to always stay ahead of bad actors, but most importantly, they strive to continuously improve the way they deliver search results to users like you and me. Now, most of the time, they don't really announce the updates that they make, but if they're big enough, they do. One of the updates that they announced happened in October 2019, and they've been calling it BERT. Not that BERT, this BERT. BERT is an acronym for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. In plain English, basically it's a way for Google to better understand context of search queries rather than simply keywords. When Google first announced BERT, they said it was the biggest change in the last five years and will affect one in 10 searches. Now, in a nutshell, before BERT was implemented, the search engine had a hard time understanding context clues and prepositions like at, with, for, you know, words that actually change the meaning of sentences for humans. Now, when BERT was created and launched, it made the search algorithm understand the word relationships and allow them to not simply look at keywords, but to read a sentence as a whole and in turn, give us better search results. A month after rolling out BERT, Google announced that it was rolling out neural matching for Google local search results. And think of neural matching as a super synonym system. And it's meant to help Google connect words to concepts better. And so in, in real life, what that means is before this update, um, there, are some in, there were some instances where some businesses that naturally had the keywords they sought for in their business name could have an unfair advantage um, in Google local search. Um, however, that severely impacted the types of results that users would get because of the flaw in the system. So now that Google has made it easier for the algorithm to understand the concept being searched for rather than simply the keyword, um, it is now able to um, deliver search results that are most relevant to the search query, not necessarily simply matching the keyword to keyword. The latest update from Google just happened a couple of weeks ago, and they're calling it the January 2020 core update. Now, when they update the core algorithm, it means it's worldwide for all searches. They don't really give a lot of information about what they changed, but it's very likely that it's related to the first two updates that we mentioned earlier. Google says that um, some volatility in search rankings can be expected, and um, it typically takes a couple of weeks for the dust to settle once they start rolling out the update. But a key thing to remember is um, certain pages on your website that may be doing less good than before may not necessarily mean that you're doing something wrong. Um, they could just mean that after the update of the algorithm, Google determined that another page is more relevant to a certain search term. And so they advise to be careful when making changes so that you're not falling into the trap of fixing the wrong things. So what do property managers have to do after hearing about these updates? Well, Google has repeatedly mentioned that the way to success in light of these new changes is to focus on the fundamentals. Now, if you're an existing client of four and half and you're scared about these changes, you're unsure of how it affects you, make sure to give us a call and we will let you know where you stand. Now, if you don't have anyone who's taking care of this for you, make sure you watch our upcoming blogs because we will be doing a series on digital marketing fundamentals so you can learn more about that. You could always call four and half so we can take that off your plate. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and 
We hope to hear from you soon. Bye.